there are a few things you can always count on. Facebook is going to screw things up along the way. Apple's going to make awesome products. I'm going to talk about them both. And you and I are going to be together for the long haul. And off to the side, the Apple haters are going to yell at me for most of it. But those are a few things we can count on. One of those, two of those, hold true today. One happened and I'm going to talk about it. Facebook, this actually happened a couple days ago. If you guys haven't heard, Facebook outsourced an idea, a really, really stupid idea, to a PR firm to get writers and bloggers and, you know, people not dissimilar to myself to write articles about Google, negative articles about, of all things, invasion of privacy. You know, because Facebook's had the privacy thing down pat from the beginning, so they figured they could pick on Google for this. Whether Google is doing these things or not, um, I don't know if they are, but it doesn't matter anymore. Because the only thing people are going to think about is how Facebook started this stupid secretive smear campaign and got caught. How did you think you weren't going to get caught? What's wrong with you? You are the dumbest smart guys on the planet. What is wrong with you? So they go through all this. Here's the funny thing. All the bloggers from the less than reputable news agencies, and I don't want to call anybody out, but it's TechCrunch, they are talking about how Facebook has lost face. Very clever. It's about all the negative things. No, Facebook. Are you kidding? What we've learned in the past year is that Facebook is going to make mistakes. They're going to misstep along the way. And everybody's going to throw their hands in the air. They're going to scream and yell and run around and demand that this gets fixed and be outraged at the behavior of Facebook. And they're going to tell the world about it via Facebook. Mark Zuckerberg had an intention with this website. It was to not make it a service or a luxury, but a utility. And he's done that. Facebook is no different in our lives than the electric company or the cable company. They are utilities. We use it. We need it. Go ahead and quit. Go ahead. More than 10% of the world's population is on Facebook. Right? Almost. Almost 10% of the world's population is on Facebook. 10%. Of Earth, go ahead and quit and not be in touch with people. It's just what we do now. It's not a thing that some people use, people are into. It's out there. So they took a wrong step. Why didn't they use their own internal PR firm? I don't know. How do they think they're going to get away with this? I don't know. It was stupid. They've done a lot of stupid things. What's the alternative? There isn't one. We're stuck with it. Unless they're actually directly harming you, I'd say quit complaining about it. I agree. There are some things that they change that I don't like as much as others. And there's ways that it used to look that I prefer that it would look now. And I have opinions and preferences about it. But please, can we get off our Facebook is the devil soapbox? <laughs> and, and, and at least find some boundary to your level of hypocrisy to not tell the world that you hate Facebook on your Facebook wall. I, I don't even know. There's so much stupidity here that I just can't even get fired up about it. There's a dumb ploy on Facebook's part. Google is already doing things that are nasty and, you know, somebody was going to talk about it. Facebook should have just manned up and done it the right way. People complaining about it. Oh, do you have anything better to talk about? Anyway, that's the way it is. This happened. And in, I don't know, let's see, today's the 13th. I first heard about this on the 11th. So in roughly 3, 2, 1, yep, nobody cares anymore. We'll see what else comes up that's worth talking about.